Welcome to Coffee and Bonsai with Tom. Today we're going to work on pruning my um, my Portrillicaria, my cork bark dwarf jade. I call this one um, crab apple because uh, years ago I had a tree that was similar to this. We'll just take a spin as I'm talking. Um, and uh, it was a crab apple, one of my favorite species to work with, and I had it in a pot very similar to this, although much larger. And um, I just love how this tree looks, and it reminds me um, of a crab apple that I had some time ago, and uh, we're going to be pruning it up today. But let's, uh, you know, this is a Frank Yee cork bark jade, and I really want to show that to you because it's quite interesting um, for a dwarf jade, the way the, the bark grows on this. Um, and apparently it takes it quite a few years for this to happen. You can see the, you know, the corking and the ripples. You can't really see the segments. And it, you know, it pretty much, to me, looks like an old crab apple tree. Um, and you can see some of the newer branches are less corky. They kind of develop that over time. Um, but it's just really a nice-looking bark. We'll spin around and take a look at it. And uh, even uh, where you've cut old uh, branches off. It kind of heals over and kind of corks right over there nicely. So um, yeah, it's an impressive, uh, impressive species. I've um, had this one for a couple of years. Um, I hadn't had a cork bark before. Um, I'll put some links in the, uh, to a video of, uh, has some information about Frank's trees, but it's a very kind of rare and, uh, and special uh, dwarf jade. I'll pan up a bit here, and you can see the top. Um, so yeah, we have we have some pruning to do. I've basically been, um, you know, kind of pro, pro profile pruning uh, this tree for the last year and a half or so regularly, and I think it's time to um, try to take it to the ne next level and uh, make some make some decisions with it. So. So that's what we'll do today. So let me uh, pan out a bit and uh, we'll start looking at how I want to style this. Uh, you can see the tree, it's very congested in the top and it's, um, I think this tree suffers from front confusion and I'll show you what I mean in a, in a minute. Um, you know, you can see the, you know, it's not a bad view from here. Uh, if we look at it, you can see the, uh, you know, the, the surface roots are kind of coiled and coming right at us if this is the front. Um, but I don't know, it doesn't bother me too much. It might be a bit late to try to fix that in this tree. Um, I sort of feel like that kind of works with the pot. This is another potential front on this side. At least the roots go off to the side, but, um, and you can sort of see, uh, where the new leader might be. You obviously have to clear up some of the other branches um, out the back, but that's a possibility. I think the back, you know, I'm going to clean it up, but I think it pretty much um, will have to stay, uh, that will have to stay the back. And, uh, and I mean, I'm still liking this kind of area um, as the front of the tree. Um, and you can see it's put on a lot of growth. It's growing very strongly. It's quite healthy. These are, this is all indoor growth, by the way. Uh, but let's uh, pull it in. You can see the top um, is really, um, you know, you can see a branch there to the left where I was just pointing on that. That's little blue, if you've seen that video. But, you know, we've got three branches coming out the top, and it's really starting to swell right in this area. Um, and I really think it's a case of he who hesitates is lost. Um, I have known I need to make some bold decisions with this tree for a while, and I've just been putting it off. And now, you know, I'm, I'm getting some swelling here, and I've kind of wasted some time where I could have been developing uh, the branches. So uh, I'm going to take this off because it just looks like a stick, and I don't you know, I'd make a nice cutting. Um... But, you know, like I said, I kind of want to make some bold decisions and move this tree forward because I'm not particularly happy with the styling. I'll just clean up where I took that little bit off. And as I said, we'll make 
cuttings from that because these trees are kind of rare and uh, that one actually had a little corking starting on it already and so I don't know I think that improves it but I still you know this could be the front um, I think I need to pick the leader between these two and I'm struggling a bit to um, make that decision so I'm kind of looking at it uh, you know from this angle it's sort of a Y and if I just cover it up um, you know I, th I think if I if I keep the one on the left like the tree's really just too much to the left although I could cut it off and and regrow the top um, but then I have that bulge there uh, which I think is not going to get better over time um, and that's such a marred area I think a lot of branches are just going to continue continually try to grow out of there um, so I'm leaning towards not liking this so much uh, but you know decisions decisions I, I kind of look at the rest of it how, how will that impact the back um i have a lot of branches up there um in the top and you you can see if i go the, the trunk kind of goes left right left right it, you know it has a bit of nice wiggle on the way up and then when we get to the top um it just kind of is a whirl of branches in it and so I, that's really needs to i think this is the primary design issue with the tree at the moment that I want to address and um, you know maybe I'll just make some improvements this time and um, uh, some further adjustments uh, later on because I sort of I think that branch off to the right um, at the top could work quite well but you know it's a bit straight but we don't have to do everything in one shot um, But, you know, maybe I'll, you know, sometimes uh, it helps just to cut a little bit off here and there. It's sort of like a, a thousand cuts instead of one big one um, and see how that works out. Yeah, so what to do? Um, I could change the angle a bit, although I don't, I don't think that is a good solution. Um, so as I said, maybe I'll thin out a bit and the answer will sort of present itself because this is not going to be helpful to the plant. Um, and as I look at this, um, yeah, I really think that, um, well, let's thin it out a bit more. Yeah, take this off. Um, yeah, I mean, the more I look at it, I don't, I don't know if it's a perfect solution, but I think the future of the tree is working with this branch on the right. Um, I think if, if, if I take this one off, it just solves so many other problems. I get rid of the bulge, the tree's not all over to the left. I still have some back branching. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to be bold and take this off. You know, as John Naka said, if you have a problem, cut it out. Uh, cut it off. And if you still have a problem, then you have a problem. So I'll make a nice cutting, and we'll uh, I'll make sure I do that. But uh, I've got this bulge. Let me try to um, whittle this down a bit. Um, it's kind of better to take a bunch of small bites at this and uh, I have knob cutters but I found if you just kind of prune these flat they tend to heal up rather nicely yeah I think that really does clear up a lot of confusion I mean obviously we have some more pruning to do but um, yeah I mean I'm, I'm already happy with the choice I think like when the tree um, when I fill out this area, it gives it some room to grow the top out. And I think it helps define um, 
the basic structure of the tree in a, in a much better way than I than I had previously. Um, you know, these wounds, uh, you know, there's kind of a wound uh, right there. It's a big one. But they tend to bark up and gray up and kind of shrink and, and fill that out rather quickly. So I'll just go around and get the, the easy stuff now. I, I don't need this in the bottom. I had it there initially to maybe thicken up that part of the the tree, but I think, you know, it's done a little bit of that, and I think uh don't really don't really need that anymore. Uh just reduce this, encourage it to back butt a bit. The top is a bit thick, so I'm just taking it down to um most of the most of the time two. Uh, inner nodes, uh, or one or two inner nodes, just to thin it up and kind of get the shape under control and get rid of stuff that's just growing in the wrong direction or um, just not something I want to use at all. Yeah, so originally, you know, maybe I think the the front, we'll try this in a minute, but I think it'll be a bit um to the right of what i was originally thinking it was and it might even be able to hide that that wound um but yeah i'm just thinning out you know leaves that are going the wrong way branches i don't need um just helping the tree to uh focus on where i want it to grow Yeah, I think that looks a lot better already. Yeah, this is too long. Might still be too long, but we'll work on it a while. I kind of like to take some leaves off, not defoliate, but just get it down to the point where I can see what I'm working with. And, you know, a lot of these leaves are, you know, once the... You know, if you cut a straight branch and then it branches out into two new branches, you don't really need the original leaves anymore. And it kind of cleans it up, cleans up the look a lot and lets air in if you just kind of get rid of them after they've generated those new branches. Um, yeah, and stuff that's growing straight down, we don't need. I'll tell you, the, these Frank Yi, um, you know, they, they not only have nice bark, they're really good, strong growers. They develop thick um, branches pretty quickly and um, you know so I don't know <laughs> the genetics or uh, exactly the origination of uh, that variety but it but it's a good one I, I really suggest if you can get some cuttings or if you find a tree I mean they're pretty rare I'm here in Seattle so I'm not too far from uh, I guess northern california or, or maybe they come from southern california so some of them had managed to get up here into my club and so we trade cuttings and whatnot but i'm gonna take this off it's a bit long and going out near the front and just kind of thinning it out and providing new opportunities uh, for growth Yeah, I think already, um, you know, I'm, I think I'm really liking this more as I as I just thin out these branches so you can get a sense of the structure of the tree. Um, you know, I was never happy with it before. I always loved the bark and I loved the overall kind of, I don't know, personality of the tree, but it wasn't something that I really enjoyed or had uh get rid of this out the back had um confidence in and so i feel like making some bold moves like this are really pretty essential um especially in the beginning when you're working on a tree so that um i think this area is a bit congested and confusing um so we're gonna make some changes there um as well uh but What's this? Yeah, I think uh, it's just too much going on here. But yeah, I think it's important to make uh, some bold moves in the beginning so that you can um, 
end up with the tree you're happy with, right? And you can see the future uh, of where you want to go and what your plan is and kind of uh, march towards it. Yeah, I think the front is going to be more a bit to the right of what it was before. I'm thinking, let's see. Yeah, maybe closer to this, although this right area is quite congested to the right of the trunk. It's almost like I have two trunks there. Um, and the lower one I'm okay with, but this I think has got to go. Uh, another cutting. Um, so let's see. Yeah, that's much better. And I think we can even clean it out a bit more to provide some space there but i think i think that helped a lot um you know i know this this tree has got a long way to go i'm just trying to move it down the field and get another uh, <laughs> uh four yards yeah i think if i clear this out um will be uh oh yeah that's that's much better um and you know this will fill in but then you know that's the 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 name of the game you just keep refining it and and um, improving it and before you know it you're kind of impressed with what you've got um i mean already i think um these changes have made this tree um a lot better and i'm very very excited to see where it goes from here i think this is much more the new front um and we'll take a look at that again but i think a combination of the way the roots go and then also the large cut I made I think I think that will be quite nice I'm just I, I kind of like to take the downward facing leaves off because I think it just gives it a better look and encourages um, it to grow leaves up um, so I'm just kind of tuning that a bit um, this back branch it's a little congested for now I don't know if we need both of those but I'm just gonna let it uh, let it grow for now because I think um, I think it'll you know it'll fill in and I'll see what to do just thin this out a little get some nice tight growth up there I'm almost thinking that's still a bit too long but we'll take a look at it uh, here in a minute and the from the back I think this top too could be maybe uh, compacted a bit yeah, I think that's better. It's a little more rounded, and these things grow like crazy anyway, so you'll have, you'll have more leaves than you know what to do with before you know it. Um, yeah, that one will just kind of uh, grow into the one to the right anyway, which I kind of want to develop this a bit and see where it goes. So we'll just let it grow, and on the next pruning, make some more adjustments. Yeah, I think getting quite close here, for sure. Um, just kind of looking at things and making those last minute uh, Decisions. I think this is coming off. Yeah, that's way better. I'll get some new branches out there, branching closer in. I could also do the same thing to the to the left hand side, but I really don't want to. Uh, you know, I want to let that run a bit. Um, isn't bad. I still think that that top area. I'll spin it around here and take a look. I find I kind of do a lot of like um, edge branch, you know, getting the very ends, which is great because it encourages the branch to grow leaves further back. So it's always a good strategy, and it's the kind of thing that um, I'm just clipping usually like crazy uh, when I'm pruning a tree near the end to kind of get all those. And, you know, like I mentioned before, getting the older leaves off. So it'll grow new ones. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, I really like how we can clearly see a style and shape of the tree now. It's much, much better than it was. So let me clean up some of this up. 
get the leaves off of here and we will um you know probably make a few more cuts here and there sometimes it you know you have to sit with it a few days and you know do some pruning walk away for a couple hours or even a day and then come back at it and look at it again and it's always a balance of you know how bad do you want it to look and how long do you want to wait you know it's really a that's an individual choice but i think that is the front and i don't know i think we've done some great work here i i really am am liking how this has come out now we'll probably you can imagine a pad out this way you know this will fill in same thing on the right here um, and the top will kind of branch out and create a nice triangle um i look on the along the back here yeah that's really bothering me uh i think that is going to uh come off now the the one in the back um yeah I'll take this off the one in the back i'm just gonna let that go because i kind of want the that branch to be a lot thicker so i'll just let it um let it run a bit and uh, see where we end up i can always cut it back and grow new branches further in and it's kind of hidden behind the trunk so you don't really see the branch so much as its foliage there there's one in the crotch there get that out of there well i think i'm pretty much done here um i think that looks great as i said i'm really happy with it can't wait for it to grow in and um you know take the next steps but uh, i'm glad that uh, i really have simplified this and i'm very very happy with where we ended up and so with that um you know thanks for spending time with me and i'll see you again soon